Hey guys, Kevin Shaw here with the Watercraft Journal. Uh, we're going to do something a little different today. Uh, this is all going to be in one long take. I don't know how long this video is going to take, so I actually might run out of space on the data card. But with our most recent video in the plastic restoration video, we got a lot of questions. We got a lot of people saying that it was doctored or that the results are fake. And then we had some people who complained about the product choices that we used. And there was just a lot of questions involved. And quite frankly, there was a lot of people who just wanted to poke holes in it because there's a lot of <clears throat> uh, predispositions in regards to plastic restoration. Now, we're gonna do something a little different right now in front of you and using this one camera in one take. And we're gonna use actually my beat up pickup truck, my old 2005 Dodge Ram. And we're gonna show different results using a handful of different tools at our disposal. Now, the reason why we're using this, here I'm gonna back up a little bit, is the reason we're using this is that this plastic lip, this black plastic guard lip here on the tailgate is totally bleached, all right? You can see, what? all right? That's my finger. This is sun bleaching. This is what happens to plastic that is untreated. This is just my work truck. I beat the crap out of this truck. I've had it for 16 years. And so why we're doing this is to show first that we're talking about plastic restoration. All right. This is plastic that has been damaged by the sun. This is plastic that has bleached, that has lost its coloring. This is not brand new plastic and after you wash it after your ride, okay? That is just use a, use a protectant, clean it off, and you're good. You're good. Put a cover on it. Keep it out of the sun. You're great, okay? That's for most people. Most people who take care of their product, most people who take care of their watercraft, they're going to clean it after every ride. They're going to spray it down. They're going to wipe it down. They're going to put a cover on it, and they're good, okay? We're talking today specifically about sun-damaged plastic, okay? Now, you'll see here, I've already heat-gunned this half. This half is what it was before I took the heat gun, all right? I will show you live how the heat gun changes the plastic all right you keep your texture if you do it right if you do it right you'll keep your texture you restore some black color and then you can get better at keeping your plastic looking good it's not a 100 percent permanent modification that you'll never have to take care of it again whoever is saying that is an idiot they're lying to you, all right? I'm not lying to you. What this does, I mean, look at all the scratches, okay? This is, this is terrible, all right? This is all beat up. This is from moving engine blocks and car parts and all sorts of other junk over 17, 16, 17 years, okay? This thing's all beat up, all right? I'm not hiding anything here, all right? But what I am trying to show you is using the worst case scenario how the products that I've laid out here how well they work if they work and the final result so let me show you what I got here all right so we got the heat gun that I used in our video there's the sea -Doo, and you can see here let me walk over look okay the texture is still there you can see the texture. You can hear the texture. All right. If you don't get in there and melt it, you won't lose the texture. If you have a good steady hand and you don't melt everything down, it'll still look good. It'll look stock. It won't have any bleaching. All right. I did this. I haven't, I haven't detailed this ski since the video and that video was recorded like before thanksgiving so 
I'm not lying to you. All right, it works. But let's take a really, really bad situation and let's do this. So, okay, here we go. So we got the gun. I bought this gun at Harbor Freight for $20. It's a piece of junk. It's a cheapo little plastic one. All right, 20 bucks. I got two brand new microfiber towels. I got two microfiber applicators, sponge applicators. And we have three plastic restorers. We have the UV protectant from, from the XPS Care line. This is brand new. The tab is still there. I haven't used this at all. I haven't tampered with this at all. It's, been in, it's in a brand new Care bucket. And I opened it up just for this video. This is the same bottle of Ultimate Black from Meguiar's that I used in the video. And this is a brand new unopened box from Armorall, their trim and plastic restorer. Let's open it up right now. Oh, look, we got another towel. Okay, so we got its own dedicated towel. It's applicator towel. And then we got the Outlast trim and plastic restore. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, we're gonna put the tailgate up. All right, I'm gonna put the tailgate up. And I'm gonna use the three plastic restorers, <clears throat> excuse me, on the heat treated side and I'm also gonna put it on the unheat treated side. Let's see if these can restore this crappy black plastic. I don't think they will. I think you're gonna get the best result out of using the heat gun and one of these restorers. It's gonna be a common, that in my opinion, and what we showed before, is that it's gonna be a combination of these two and to be honest, I'm favoring more of the restorers than I am the XPS dressing and protectant. The dressing and protectant does penetrate a little bit, all right? But we, I don't think it has the polymers in the chemical itself, all right? These are penetrants. These restorers are penetrants, meaning they penetrate into the material and they're meant to impregnate the plastic with their own silicones or oh, there's the neighbor's dog with their own uh, silicone beads or their own uh, uh, they don't use silicone anymore they're using now a, they're now using a, uh, a, a a poly blend but to help add its own shine and its own restoration to it so we're gonna show you. We're gonna show you live. All right, we're gonna show you how it works. So I'm gonna put the tailgate up. Let's put our microfiber, I'm not cutting. I'm not, this is all one take. So we're gonna, if I screw up, you'll see me screw up. All right, so let's put everything here on the bed rail. We're gonna listen to my neighbor's dog bark at me. So we're putting everything up. All right, get everything out of the way. All right, here's the heat gun. And I wanna show a uh, heat. We're gonna heat one section too. So let me get some tape and we'll tie it off. All right, got a roll of painter's tape. Move these out of the way. We'll put this right here so you can see what I am doing. All right. Good, we'll do a small little section right here. Okay. Let's show you how a heat gun works. And I'm also gonna show you something. I literally had someone tell me that you could set the plastic on fire. That's, if you're holding your gun, I'm, I'm trying not to be a jerk. If you're holding your gun long enough in one place, that you can set the plastic on fire, you should not be doing this. And you should never be allowed near a watercraft, ever. Nor do I think you should be allowed around tools. So, let's, uh, now it's cold outside. It is 40, I think it's like 43 degrees outside. So, it's gonna take a little longer to work, but see, it's, it's working already. Here we go. 
Okay. Now I'm getting a little close because it is so cold. But you can still see the texture in the plastic. I am not melting the plastic. All right. See how easy this works? You just move it around. Keep it moving. Nothing crazy. Not doing anything insane. But I want to show you how quickly this works. We're doing it live. Screw it, we're doing it live. Woo! All right, you move it around so you don't boil any plastic, because you can, and I will literally show you how to ruin plastic. I'm gonna do it in front of your face, all right? I have no problem showing how to do it wrong. But right now I'm, I'm demonstrating how to do it right. So hopefully you're seeing what I'm seeing. All right. All right, I'm trying to move it around so you can see there. Okay, we're even gonna show you the side here. Look, okay. Now guess what? This took what? A minute? Two minutes? Okay, I'm moving it around just to get all the edges. It is a little splotchy. You can see that it's splotchy. It's not perfect. Okay, I'm not expecting perfect results. That's what happens. But as you're trying to go, you know, you go back over your work, you back up a little bit. Look, okay. Now it's still hot to the touch, but the cooler areas, it's still a little hot. The texture is still there. It hasn't glossed over and got all melted and smooth. All right. It's not perfect. It's not exact, but it's a lot better than this, right? Look, look at this crap versus this. You can still scratch it. All right. So look, we just did that. Now the guy says, well, you can melt it and you can set it on fire. So let's try that. Let's pretend we're idiots, put it on max, and let's melt some plastic. What happens when you melt it? Get it right here. Let's get it all hot and stupid. I'm literally gonna show you. So I'm not moving it. I'm keeping it and you know barely, barely moving it. All right, it's super shiny. It's gonna be glossy, but you can see the texture is starting to lay down. You see how the, the little bumps, the, the skin, are starting to lay down? Okay, it's laying down, it's starting to smooth out. But it's still not, I mean, it's still not super smooth. But, you see how it is? And you can really smell it. I'm smelling just melted plastic right now. Okay? But I am literally trying to melt this. It's starting to distort. It's already distorting. All right, look. Here we go. Perfect. See how smooth it is right here? And how the texture is right here? Okay, we got texture, and then we got smooth. Woo! Woo! -hoo 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 -hoo. It literally melted onto my finger. But look at that. It's soft and gooey. All right, I could literally press my thumb into there and make a permanent thumbprint. Did not catch on fire. I mean, I held it for what, a minute? 
just trying to melt this thing. It melted. It's soft and it's gooey, but it's not this. So again, anyone who tells you it's going to catch on fire, they're lying to you. That or it's the dumbest person on the planet and should never be near a, a, a heat gun. Okay? But if you take your time and you're skillful, you can keep the texture. It's got a nice texture here. It's still a little warm to the touch. The texture is still there. And you've brought a lot of the black, the black back from this. All right. So that's our demonstration about melting plastic and quick restoration. All right. So let's try our stuff. All right. I'm going to put the camera right here. And we're going to start on this one. And we're going to uh, actually let's start with the close one here. And let's do XPS. All right. So here's the XPS. It hasn't been opened yet. So here we go. All right. Ready to go. Let's, uh, you know what? I'm just going to spray it right on. Nice and wet. Now, per the instructions, they're saying give it five minutes for the product to penetrate. So we're going to let it saturate. You guys okay with that? We're going to let it saturate. Just going to marinate the stuff. And you know what? Let's spray it onto one of the treated, the heat treated areas right here. Okay, do you see that where I did that? Okay, this has already been heat treated. And we're going to spray the UV protectant, the XPS Care UV protectant right there. And I'm just going to let it soak. All right, so we did this one. So let's try McGuire's Ultimate Black. Get this, this one out. Gonna use a corner of it. We don't need to do the whole towel. All right, here we go. Dab it around. All right, and let's really work it in. We're gonna try to work it in. Really get it in there. Okay. Then, let's put the gun down. I'm going to bring it over to this side and do a heat treated side with Ultimate Black. Our own little section here. Really work it in. Get it into all the little corners and all the little raises. Okay, we got a little trim line here. Down here. Good, good. Looking good. All right. Do they want it to sit? Let's look. Let's see what they say. Uh, instructions, wipe off excess with a clean towel. All right, so there's no time delay. So let's wipe the, let's wipe the first section off. Okay, we're gonna wipe the first section off. Whoop! <laughs> see, I told you you'd see me screw up. I told you, but that's okay. All right, so here's our ultimate black. We're gonna wipe this section off. All right, let's get a clean side. Do a little bit more. We're still letting the XPS soak in, all right? X XPS is still soaking in. All right. And now, we're gonna take our red rag with our armor all. Shake it up a little bit. All right, shake bottle, apply to damp microfiber towel directly onto surface, onto a damp towel. So we'll get it wet. Right, let's shake it up. And, oh, okay. Let me go sprit this with the, with the towel, with the hose, excuse me.
Okay. They said a damp towel. You can see it's damp. I'm not fooling anyone. It's not soaking wet, but it is damp. Shake it up a little more for fun. All right, spread evenly. Allow to penetrate for five minutes. All right, let's uh, see it hasn't even been opened yet. And if I had any fingernails, there we go. Woo! All right, there's our little cap. All right, so we're gonna let this, we're gonna let this stuff marinate for five minutes as well. Oh, okay. I see. It's working. This is actually really surprising. I haven't used this stuff before, so this is actually kind of fun. This is a live demonstration. Holy cow. Are you kidding me? This stuff really works. <laughs> I'll use a little more. You really gotta work it in. I'm using the I'm using a bit of pressure here. But it, it's actually getting some pretty decent results. A lot more than I thought it would. Okay, all right. So that was this, this was the untreated side. Let's do the far end over here. And I'll bring the camera over once I'm done applying. pretty impressive guys that actually is uh this stuff's actually doing its job I'm normally not terribly impressed with this kind of magic in a bottle sort of material Oop, a little bit of grass all right here we go okay so we're gonna let that soak for a couple minutes now we're gonna wipe off the XPS. So we got XPS right here. Here we go. We're wiping off XPS. It's had a few minutes to soak in. This is the unheat treated side. And then here is the heat treated side of XPS. Okay. And let's get underneath here just to show. All right. Okay, this is cooled off. All right. Okay, so, obviously this is soaking still, but here's our, here's our heat treated that we just showed you. This is us melted. This is what it looks like melted, right here, this section. You can see my fingerprints where I dabbed on it. See, it's totally smooth. And then we can see the turtle shell texture right here, okay? Now, obviously, it's been sprayed with chemicals and stuff, and so we, we're going to treat this later. All right. So, here is spray XPS on white chalk plastic. All right. It's, you see how the scratches are, are not as prominent with my, fing, you know, my fingernail scratching on it? That's because what I'm scratching off is the protectant, all right? I'm not really getting through into the plastic. I mean, a little bit, but not nearly as before. So the, this is doing its job in protecting the plastic or the vinyl, okay? So now we go over to the heat-treated side. This is where it gets interesting, all right? It's obviously 
it's it's impregnated and, and penetrated into the treated plastic but it also shows your mistakes all right you see how it's it's smooth right here i put too much heat right there but then it, i got texture right there it really highlights the places you've missed and the places you've gotten right so what xps does really well and what i like about it is that xps is really kind of amplifying the surface itself okay it, it does a really good job of showing the really good parts it also does a really good job of showing the bad parts so it's kind of like a, 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 it's like a super duper amplifier so that's really good that's really good i mean you now that you know what you're working with all right let's put that over here all right so now we're going to go to mcguire's this is mcguire's ultimate black let's wipe off all right excuse me sorry i had the camera facing the wrong way this is mcguire's ultimate black now you can see it did a little bit of work bringing back the black here and here but since this is treated all right now i want to show you something we're gonna do the scratch test no oh no we're getting some scratching now okay i'm digging a little harder than before i shouldn't do that and let's go back here okay so believe it or not the xps does a better job at, at protecting all right that's xps same pressure mcguire's same pressure more scratches more prominent scratches so xps is doing a really good job here okay now we did get more black in our ultimate black you know brought some of that back here brought it back a little bit here but this is where the majority of our damage is and it just couldn't bring that back so let's go over to ultimate black over here all right now here's where it's interesting with a nice black surface we're seeing more of a shine all right this is this is a far wetter looking shine than xps now i will tell you though xps doesn't want a real gooey wet shine you, they tell you right there that it's going to leave a a non-greasy satin finish okay so both are doing their job really well truth and advertising truth and advertising all right xps is leaving a more of a i mean it's shiny don't get me wrong but it's not nearly as wet as this one also the ultimate black does a better job of hiding my screw-ups all right you're not seeing the discoloration or the blotting as much as you do over here so that's good all right now let's take let's take the top layer of armor all off okay we're gonna rub this top layer off this is the application layer all right okay and then we're gonna do this one it's thick <laughs> this stuff goes on thick it's almost it's almost creamy it's uh it has a little bit of a cream feel you're getting a lot of resistance and let's fold that up okay okay so let's go back to untreated now here's where i got impressed i'm seeing a lot Look at the difference. I mean, this didn't get a lot. This didn't get us any black. This brought it a shade darker, but look how much more the Armorall Outlast got us. All right, that's impressive, especially right here. Really did a good job bringing back more of the black, but again, nothing like the heat gun. All right so that's important what's our scratch test look like wow hey let's use the same finger 
Okay, look at that. A, a lot less than uh, a lot less than Meguiar's. About same with XPS. So these offer the same. These are offering the same amount of protection, just using the really scientific finger scratch test. <laughs> but we get a little bit of a gloss. We're seeing more of a shine. So we're getting a really thick layer of protection. More protection here. I mean, that's actually, that's even better than XPS. Because look how fine that is. That means that it, it took just a, a very thin layer versus a broad, flat layer. So this actually offers a lot more, a lot more protection. I got to say, Armor All has impressed me. I was not expecting that. So let's go to the last one. Okay, here we go. Surface-wise... This has a lot more resistance, just running your finger up it. This is slicker. So Meguiar's is giving you a slicker surface and it's a shinier surface. Um, but look how uniform the armor all is. This is actually really impressive. Obviously the heat gun could not get into the, the crevices here, but yeah, armor all has done a really good job with a nice even finish. I'm impressed. That turned out really nice. Okay, so here's our here's our Armor All, our Meguiar's, and our XPS. Let's get the wet rags out of the way. All right, guys. Obviously, all of these. Let me pull out. All of these, uh, this whole side from here over has been treated with the heat gun. All right, keeping the heat gun about two inches away from the surface and constantly moving it. All right, in a warmer climate, the gun will not have to be so close. So keep that in mind. It's cold outside, it's 43 degrees out here. All right, but I'll tell you what, this is easy pretty easy but you have a five minute delay this is the fastest on and off boom boom rub it on wipe it off and you get a nice wet shiny surface I know a lot of guys like their tires you know when they detail their cars the tires have to be really wet and you know glossy looking kind of you know kind of waxy looking Meguiar's is gonna give you that look on your plastics all right but here on the Armor All, Armor All is giving you the same layer, if not a slightly better layer of protection. Takes about five minutes, just like XPS, but it's kind of, it's kind of the best of both of these guys. But again, what about heat guns? Heat guns, listen, if, if you're not comfortable doing it, don't do it. Don't, just don't, all right? because you can melt the plastic. Look, it is super smooth, no texture. You can hear it. You hear that? That's the difference. Texture, that's because I wasn't, I wasn't melting it. I moved it around, you saw me do it and then smooth. So again, maybe this is the video I should have done first. I tried to make it pretty easy with that one, but a lot of people got scared and freaked out and said, oh my gosh, you're gonna ruin the ski. Um, I wanted to show what I felt were three of the best brands when it came to plastic restoration. XPS, of course. XPS is the official product, you know, uh, manufacturer for sea -Doo. So Sea-Doo definitely wants to sell you XPS. And it's very good. We just saw it do it. All right. Ultimate Black is what I used in the video because it was an easy application. It gave it a really high quality gloss finish. All right. Did its job. We just got the armor all. You saw me unbox it in front of you. All right. I had to literally pull the, <laughs> pull the tab off, or the, the seal off of it. And we saw what a really nice finish it gave. So guys, 
hopefully this quick and dirty video it's not quick i think we're at a half an hour right now or 35 minutes i had to look at the clock on top of the gopro um but you can definitely see the difference now will a heat gun give you a hundred percent restoration no the heat gun's a band-aid understand me the heat gun is a band-aid all right if the plastics on your skis look like this you get the heat gun because you're cheap and you don't want to replace it if you want your skis looking brand new go to revaracing.com to the oe section or go to green hulk the green hulk store and go to the oe section and replace the bumpers for goodness sakes it'll 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 transform the way your ski looks all right but if you're a cheapskate and you don't mind a little bit of elbow grease and you like a reason to buy a tool and I like buying tools, tools are like toys, um, a heat gun will work. It's a Band-Aid. It's about 80%. All right, last bit of information. If you don't want your plastic to look like this and this looks like crap, this is terrible, all right? I'm ashamed of myself. <laughs> um, if you don't want the plastics on your ski to look like this, take care of it. Take care of your ski, all right? Wash it after every ride. Use a good soap. If it's a Sea-Doo, go to your dealership and use XPS, all right? Use a quality soap, use quality materials, and take care of your ski. It's a big investment. That's a lot of money. So by all means, take care of it and it won't look like this. All right? This is this is years of neglect. <laughs> Honestly, it's years of neglect. Take care of your ski and you won't have a problem. All right. That's all. I'll put this up. It'll take a while cuz it's a big long file, but I wanted you guys to see this. And I wanted to do it in front of you in one long take. So, again, I hope this helps out. Guys, thanks again for watching the Watercraft Journal. Please check us out Monday through Friday at watercraftjournal.com. That's www.watercraftjournal.com. New articles are published every day, Monday through Friday. And we also do a newsletter on Friday to kind of wrap up the week. Guys, thanks again. We appreciate it. We'll talk to you soon.